Hey guys, this is Fang Sasha VA here. This is my third time trying to record this. Um, in today's video, we're going to be discussing a bit of a controversy that happened to, uh, tonight that I, we're actually recording this. So yeah. if you're new here, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and a bit of an update about my recording. I'm going to start recording off my iPad. Um, I'm going to start bulk recording my stuff um, starting this weekend. So that I can, so hopefully I can at least try to get some of that holiday revenue going. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to get my computer area all tidied up so I can go back on there. Hopefully very soon, and hopefully my laptop comes here as well. But, also, uh, we also have Mizuki here with me. And yo, are you just So... So pretty much, I'm I'm gonna start it all us off by pretty much explaining the whole thing, and then we'll get into just the general discussion and our thoughts on things. Okay. So the video game awards just ended after we. Uh, <laughs> the video game awards just ended before we started to record this. Yep. And I. To say that the v to say that the video game awards sucked as a gamer, no, it didn't. If there were some great announcements, I'm, I'm I was excited for it. It was a little bit tame. I was hoping for Zelda, but I kind of already knew that Nintendo normally doesn't really announce things when they know that it's not ready yet. That's normally yeah, how they yeah, are. That's normally how they are about stuff like that. So I kind of and plus two, like I kind of already knew that if you're for Zelda. I kind of already knew that wasn't going to happen, um, and yeah, I mean there are some games I'm genuinely excited for. I am I am interested in Diablo Four. Uh, Final Fantasy Sixteen looks good, um, and the new game from uh, from Software looks amazing. Also very true. I, I liked I liked the good majority of the games that they showed too. Um, and uh, con congrats to all the winners that won awards, except for you, Genshin. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, Genshin fans may get angry at me for saying this, but in my personal opinion. Now, like I said, let me set this whole thing up for you guys. Both games were nominated for the player's voice. Both of them got to the final round. The fact that Frontiers was nominated is a great thing. Sonic was also nominated for the second movie, which is a great thing. Yeah. However, once it got to the third day, now, the story is a bit convoluted. You have to take things, I say, with a grain of salt. I don't know the full context. I didn't see all the screenshots. That's a side of trade I don't normally get into. I just I just know things once I start hearing things from, like, friends or if, like, Mizu so happened to Scroll stumble up on it, on it while on I Twitter. Twitter. Um, but apparently... Both sides were using bots, and I guess this all started supposedly because of Sonic fans saying something racial towards. I don't know race. exactly how it started, but all I know is, is that I think it might have been that along with the mix of, oh, we can't let Sonic beat Genshin Impact. <laughs> And the thing is, right, there, to me, I've always felt like there's been a portion of the gaming industry and and the gaming community that just loves seeing Sonic fans lose and lose their crap. Because some might say that the reason why Sonic fans are so toxic is because we could cause some dirt thrown at us. This is very true. I've made a video on that. That is true. You did make a video on that. I remember that. Now, do I think that this is that case? Yes, because Genshin Impact fans are just as passionate as Sonic fans, and they are also very toxic. 
So oh, I could yeah. see them being sort of... Actually, to be honest, let's say Sonic 1, I could see, with how toxic Genshin fans are, I could see them saying and doing some stuff that they shouldn't be. Because I do know with that fan base, they will go after artists. Um, which is kind of dumb to be so, you know, I have never understood, uh, I've never, <laughs> I, I've never noticed, I, I never understood the point of going after an artist just because they so happen to draw a character either a bit more lighter than what they need to be or a bit more darker. Yeah, I've never really understood that either. Um... But Sonic fans are also notoriously can be toxic. Now, again, do I think that every Sonic fan and Genshin fan is like this? No. And that's where the problem lies. That's where the the old saying goes is that a can all it takes is one bad apple to ruin a bunch. Yeah. And that's what the situation was. I do think both games should have been disqualified. I do acknowledge I do acknowledge that us Sonic fans it can be a bit over dramatic at times. This but is also you, really very true. But you Genshin fans aren't any better. But like I said, the Sonic fan base is no different than any other fan base. But for some strange reason, we're kind of the black sheep of the gaming yeah. community. You know, it's like, you know, we're not the only, f you know, fan base that makes crappy fan art. We're not the only fan base that ships crappy ships. We're not the only fan base that makes crappy fan games. This is a... We're I not mean, the only fan base... On that. We're, you know, we're not the only fan base that makes crappy fan art. Every fan base has those people in it. Yup. But because it's Sonic the Hedgehog, of course, right? People have to crap on it. The fact of the matter is, Sonic Frontiers and the second Sonic movie connected with a lot of people. Us included. <laughs> but again, I'm not going to sit here and say that Genshin doesn't have a passionate fan base. Now, I see people try to make fun of Genshin players because it's a game to where. You are pretty much spending money to pretty much get a fictional character. I mean, to be honest, if I were to criticize them for that, then I would be a hypocrite because I play Dokkan. Yeah, I was about to say, you would be going against yourself on that one. I would be yeah. too. <laughs> Let me say this. I love gacha games. It's my personal choice that I decide to spend money on these games. It's my personal choice. Exactly. You know, at least, unlike NFTs... At least I can use these characters. Also very true. <laughs> Which, by the way, Rooster Teeth, how's your uh, freaking uh, Ruby um, NFTs going? I can't believe they actually did that. But, but going back to what we were saying, what really didn't help was that Jeff made a comment that a lot of Sonic fans took as very, a bit of a dick. Now the thing is, like him or hate him, Jeff Keighley has a big voice in the Sonic. I I'm not, not in the, the Sonic, Sonic Video Game Awards. The gaming community. He's yeah. friends with a lot of game developers. He's that common person that name drops. Oh, well, you know, oh, well, you know, I've been in contact with Hide um, Hideo Kojima. And he's working on you know, he does that a lot. This is true, he does. He's also one of those people that have pushed video games to be mainstream, and in some cases that is good, in some cases that is bad. That depends if you want gaming to be safe to the point to where it is very, it, it, it's not trying to offend no particular group. That's all. That's all. I'm going to have to say. That's yeah. the bad part. The good part of it is that now you can buy a video game and no one's going to make fun of you for it. Alright? Exactly. But Jeff Keighley was on call for. 
very, very he should have for. He should have kept his mouth shut. Because let me tell you, Sonic fans are very passionate. And if more Sonic fans figure out that that disc was towards us, I'm not saying it is, but but that's how a lot of people took it. He's going to get attacked on Twitter. Oh, yeah. He He's going to. Now, I do not want my fans to do that. Leave him alone. That's his opinion, even though that's, in my opinion, he shouldn't have done that. He should have been neutral on the whole situation. There's proof that both sides cheated. Therefore, in my opinion, both games should have been disqualified. Yeah, they really should have. That would have... That would have hurt, but it but it would have been a bit more of an easier blow to get over than the fact that there's a chance that we lost to a game that also cheated. Mm-hmm. Well, not game. Well, a fan base yeah. that also cheated. No matter who won, both sides were going to be pissed. And the one I feel sorry for is... There is there is there is the great people at Sonic Team. There were two people there that worked at Sonic Team. I can't imagine the freaking feelings that they're feeling right now, especially with Jeff Keighley's comment. Oh yeah, that. Um, <sighs> You know, because Katie, um, I don't know Katie, but from my one interaction with her on Twitter, she's very nice. She even is. In, she's really nice. Even in the live streams, she's very, very nice. I would love to get her on onto a live stream to do like a live interview with her. That would be amazing. Ooh, that would be. She's also a big fan of Chow, so can't go wrong with that. But now, even though that we lost both awards that we were a part of, that doesn't mean that us Sonic fans lose. No. The fact that we were nominated for two things was great. That shows that Sonic Frontiers is connecting with people. Now, yes, there are people that still don't like it, that think it's a rush. You know, I, I, I've been saying for these past several months, leading up to Frontiers release, that not everyone is going to change their opinion on it. Exactly. Some people are so stubborn to the point that they will not change their opinions on something, even if, you know, what they're seeing looks incredible. Very true. And, you know, that's their right. I'm never going to tell people what they should spend their money on. That's their choice. If you don't like Frontiers, like I said, that's totally fine with you. I mean, that's totally fine with me. You know, but Sonic has had a very good year this year. We had Sonic 2. We had Sonic Origins. Now, I know some people may say that Sonic Origins was a bit of an L... And I do agree. It, it kind of was, but you know what? I had fun with Sonic Origins. I did too. Um, you know, we had Sonic Frontiers. We, you know, we've had all the great merch. We've had all the comic issues. And now we have Sonic Prime coming up this month. I believe next week. If I'm correct on that, I believe it's coming out next week. I believe so. Yeah, it is, actually, yeah. I believe so. You aren't wrong. Um, and, like, <laughs> Ari, no bark, buddy. Ari. As my dog goes doing a cameo. The dog goes to a cameo. <laughs> he might be hearing a dog outside. That's like yeah. might be far away that I can't hear. Yeah, my doggos are just chill right now. So. <laughs> but. Yeah. 
We lost. It sucks, but we still as had a freaking amazing some people, year. Yeah, and as I saw some people putting in the tweets to Kate, we might have lost, but Sonic won in our hearts, damn it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And the fact of the matter is, this whole thing has not made me feel less proud to be a Sonic fan. I'm sorry. I don't care how this started. Do not group me in with, with the, people uh, I don't others. know. Yeah. I don't like that shit. That is why I'm against fandom. Because I don't always agree with how fandoms are. Exactly. Look at, I love Ruby. But I will admit that the Ruby community is freaking toxic as hell. Oh, yeah, they are. The fact of the matter is, I miss the days where you could dis discuss just, something discuss something without having people arguing with you yeah. about about how you're wrong. Same, same. I miss those days too. So, how long how long have we been recording? Good, sixteen minutes. Dang. <laughs> so, anyways, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I seem so disjointed. I I was trying to get my thoughts, and I'm still a little bit shocked by the fact, the fact that of what happened. Yeah. Yeah, what happened? It, but, it's uh, understandable. You know, like I said, but I will say this: congrats to the nice Genshin Impact players. Yes, for the winning. nice ones. <laughs> All the mean ones. Y'all need help. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Same thing to you means, you know, toxic Sonic fans. Y'all need help. Y'all need it, some help. My God, a, guys, you don't same fight thing to fire you, with fire. Yeah. Same thing to you, toxic Ruby fans. Y'all need help. You guys are arguing over entertainment, of fictional characters. Pretty much, yeah. A video game. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. You know, but anyways, you guys, I hope you all enjoy this bit of this event slash discussion video. I mean, this does go to, I mean, this does go with Fridays because I know, because Fridays. This is videos, what we normally do on Friday. <laughs> yeah, just my normal rambling type video. So anyways, you guys, we'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Bye.